business. Mm -hmm. Dad, really, it improves your visibility, conversion, and communicates your brand to your clients. I don't have time for this now. Dad, you really should start creating cool videos and drive more traffic to your website. No, Daniel, I have real work to do. Don't get slapped with a fish. Create more videos for your business. Hello, Slash. We're at launch. So if any of you have ever felt like this, you should be doing more video content online, but it's so damn difficult. We're here to solve that. So digital video advertising has become a $12 billion business in the US alone. But even these big players say that they're having trouble creating that content for that advertising. 55% of marketers say that creating enough content is their biggest pain professionally. Previously, they could either order the videos from a production company, but that's expensive and takes days or even weeks to get ready. And professional video editing programs have more in common with an airplane dashboard than something intuitive to use for marketing. So many of marketers ended up looking like this, and we're putting an end to that. We're calling it AI-powered video creation. This is how it works. With advanced AI and image recognition techniques, we're crawling for YouTube videos that already have good performance, feeding those into our algorithm and slicing them up. And we can then see what those videos contain second by second, so we'll know what they had on the first second, when the first human person entered the video, what the music was like, what the dramatic curve of that video was like, and how it affected. And by applying this information, we can create a powerful feedback loop of creating better videos over time. And the users only have to input keywords of the kind of video they would like to create. Say, travel, summer, Europe, and we'll just automatically generate that video for them. Also, a lot of our customers say that they have trouble reversioning content. So we'll able to automatically create different kinds of versions of these videos and push them out to your social media automatically. So what does it look like? This is a result made with Ad Launch. Let's have a look at the market. Is the problem big enough? Facebook themselves predict by 2021, all of their content is going to be in video form. Now, that's a massive shift in how marketing communications is made. And there's lots of opportunities to create that business video content in social media. 90% of users say that seeing a video about a product was helpful in their decision-making process. We've got an award-winning team a good balance between creative talent, business knowledge, and tech. This is what our service looks like. We've created an intuitive SaaS service that looks like this. Going back to the feedback loop, the user only has to input the keywords, their URL for their business, and we'll automatically grab all the information about their brand, logo, brand colors, and create a video that's relevant for their business. They can still edit manually if they see that, OK, they like three out of those four clips and change that fourth. We don't mind. And we'll also give them new suggestions on what that fourth clip could be. So our business model is a SaaS subscription. And already now, we're partnering with ad networks who each are giving us offers of 120,000 euros per year to get their clients to use ad launch to create the content. We're raising 200K. And remember, if you're thinking video, think ad launch. Thank you.
Well, we see that there's ad networks and there's manual video editing, but we want to combine this into an AI-based uh, pipeline that serves the full pipeline from content creation to actually pushing the video out. So definitely, we, we know that there is competition, but the market is new, and we can improve on that. So you don't have any similar companies yet? Sorry? You, you don't have any similar companies that you're selling yet in the market? That uh, there are similar video editors, but we don't want to be an online video editor to replace iMovie. We want to leverage AI and sort of big data in a way that hasn't been done at all yet. I thought it was an excellent presentation, really clear. Um, understand the vision, the team, what you guys are executing on. One of the things that's not clear to me is when you're taking the content from YouTube, is, are there going to be any issues around uh, you know, this content being protected? How do you get around that? And, and are you creating the, the actual ad content? Or, or is your, are you working with the client to come up with, with you know, the messaging for them? How much do you get involved in the actual end product? OK, good question. So we actually don't use the video content from YouTube. Rather, we just analyze what makes viral videos perform well in the first place. The footage that we have comes from four sources. We license stock footage. We record footage ourselves. And then there's public domain footage that is licensed for commercial use under Creative Commons Zero license. And then the users can also upload their own footage. So we're talking to NBC Universal in London. They don't want to use stock footage because they're a content company. They own DreamWorks. But they still see the value of reversioning, say, when a new movie comes out, do different kinds of Facebook versions to, to tease their audience with them. So just to follow up and to clarify, your secret sauce is learning what's already working and telling these clients, we're going to make something like this. Yes. OK, and that's, exactly. your, that's the AI that you're creating. Exactly. The, the other thing I'll mention, and I think it's in general you know, as some advice, you, you asked for the 200K. Um, maybe it's not appropriate in this kind of pitch to uh, end with, uh, but the, the slide that we always like to see after that is, why do you want that? What are you going to do with that money? Is that for hiring? So as you're pitching VCs, it's, it's a really important slide. Most of the time, if people end on, I'm looking for 200K, thank you, uh, that, that's almost a given no for us because okay, it, it yeah. tells us you don't know what you want to do with that money. You know, what are the milestones you're going to hit? Is that a 12 or 18 month plan? You know, it, like a lot more detail around that. Yeah, thanks for the advice. Do you want to hear on that, or we can discuss it in depth? Thank you. I think we do want to hear about that, actually. OK. Yeah, so now we're, now we're partnering with uh, the ad networks. The first one is a UK-based one. And we're also partnering with the American Chamber of Commerce to get into the US market. So our next hires are going to be a VP of sales uh, for the US market and additional developing for developing the AI features. So that's our main main sort of investments in HR. We're going to do marketing as well, but we feel that the ad networks and partnerships with the big players is more valuable than trying to sort of market this straight on Facebook or social media channels ourselves. And, and how far, just going back to your questions, because I think those are super relevant, how far will that take you in terms of, is that a 12-month, 18-month plan? And, and where do you expect to be in terms of milestones, growth milestones then? And the reason why I ask that is because frequently when we see startups succeed really well is that they talk about a long-term vision, and there's proof points along the way that are used to raise further funding. And that's usually growth-driven, right? So, so that's the context there. Good question. So that's a 12-month plan, but we're also already live with the product uh, in its first uh, iteration. So we can also start financing uh, through revenue, and then we can sort of scale with that uh, additional investment. And Tekes is also supporting our AI development uh, with technology grants, which we're really grateful for. So we've got a good combination of public funding and then smart money funding from our investors. I mean, I think you're very fortunate to be here, and, and Tech is being so supportive. I think this is an amazing thing. So thank you, Tech, is for that. Thanks, Finland, for that. Yeah. But um, one thing I would advise you to is to always raise a minimum of 18-month runway and up to 24 months, because otherwise you're taking attention away from operations far too frequently, and you won't be able to establish 
that much meaningful traction if you're raising capital all the time. So that's just a word of advice. Good point. Thanks. Hey, great session. Just wondering what, what uh, market penetration you're getting at the moment, in, in what areas, and where, where's your geography play? Are you starting in Europe or are you playing globally in a virtual base? So now we've got 500 users um, that are early adopters and they're sort of mid-sized company uh, clients. They're usually publicists or social media managers creating the content around one video a week. And as I mentioned now, we, we've seen that the ad networks are the best partner we can partner with and those are UK-based. Uh, we were part of a UK-based accelerator for ad tech-specific companies and we have investors and um, mentors there who are also helping us patch into clients and then the US market is the next so big programmatic advertisers like tube mogul that were acquired by adobe for half a billion uh, dollars so they're based in the US and is there a price point that you're looking at excuse me is there a price point a cost, price point. a price point you're looking at? Yes. So we have different tiers uh, starting from 69 euros per month for five videos, uh, and we're going to tier that up. But many of the ad networks have very different needs on, on what, how they want to scale that up. So now we're negotiating it deal by deal. Good luck with that. <laughs> Time's up. That was the seven Thank minutes you. of grilling from the jurors. Thank you. Let's give a really big warm uh, round of applause to Ad Launch and Yoel Huben.